Brothers and sisters, have you ever been to a point when you are so much excited about something and you speak about it and it all vanishes? Do you know why that happens? It's not about people uh, being bad to you. It's not about people speaking ill of you. It is basically you and the energy you produce when you start speaking about something which is premature. What does this mean? When you're happy, be silent. Let all that thing internalize within yourself. Let it boil within yourself. Let the joy, the excitement of that project, the excitement of that plan, the excitement of what you're doing, boil up within yourself. But when you wake up and you speak about it, uh, it uh, in one way or another, causes you to have some type of doubts because now you manifest it in the third dimension world and in the third dimension world is full of doubts and fears and uh, people speaking differently which might trigger something and make you start doubting your inner self doubting the desired reality that you've already thought about remember the bible tells us in the book of psalms uh, 46 verse 10 it says be still and know that i am god you see, this one, it basically says, God says, when you're happy, when you have some desired reality, when you have something which you're so much imagined and you're so much happy about, be easy, pause and reflect. Trust that God is working behind the scenes. And do not panic because the moment you start speaking about it, you're trying to ask for suggestions. You're trying to hear people's opinion. And now you're starting to reflect on the third dimension. You're not reflecting on the fourth dimension, which is inside you. Because inside you is where God dwells. And the moment you commune only with God, you basically show that God, it is only you who I trust. I don't trust man because man can be disappointing. Man can be able to uh, show me things which I did not expect and cause me to fear. So when you're happy about something, let's say, for example, you're planning to start um, uh, some type of business and then you've just spoken uh, to yourself inside about this business. You're excited. You see it. You see the clear picture of how it's going to be. You're excited about the outcome. The moment before you execute your plan, you start speaking about it into the third dimension, into the manifested reality of life, and yet inside you, you have not yet completed what you're planning, then what happens is this. You start getting suggestions, third dimension suggestions. And remember, anything that you see is just a reflection of the inside. Your situation, what you've planned, what you've um, basically what you're what you're seeing in your life, it's a reflection of what previous thoughts that you had were. I don't know if this is making sense to you. Remember the Bible in the book of Proverbs, chapter seventeen, verse twenty-eight. It says, "Even a fool, when he holds his peace, is counted wise. No matter how much stupid or foolish you are, if you hold your peace." You hold on, internalize your things. Hold on and see whatever you're thinking from the inside. Then you're going to be counted wise. Silence protects your wisdom and joy from unnecessary distractions or negativities. Let's see also the book of Ecclesiastes 3 verse 7. The Bible says, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Now there's a time that you're needed or you're required to keep silence. When you're building things look at people who have are good in doing research how do they do their research do they do their research in the open fields where everybody is giving their suggestions no albert einstein it is said that he used to get into a basement of a building where he could do his research for even three months speaking to no one just being silent thinking resonating and he could come out with things that nobody has ever imagined you know, inside man is where the whole powerhouse is. It's not outside. The moment you open your mouth, remember, you have now brought it into the third dimension. The moment it is inside you, it is instilled in the spiritual realm. Because inside you, in your mind, is where the spirit is. Remember, 
The Bible says that the kingdom of God is within you. And that within you is where all things are manufactured. What did Jesus say? Jesus said that um, as it is in heaven, so should it be on the earth. Pray. Say, God, God, as it is in my mind, I pray that it be outside here. I pray, God, bring your kingdom down just like it is in heaven. Let it be on here on the earth. And before you get anything, seek first the kingdom of God and everything shall be manifested out here. So the kingdom of God is basically in your mind. Resonate out, think out, and don't bring out premature things out here. Even there's a guy I watch a lot called Neville Goddard. And I'm sure for those who uh, have read Neville Goddard's books, they understand uh, about what he has always been speaking about the same topic. And uh, he spoke and said that joy means that you are aligned with your desires. That is what joy is all about. When you're joyful, it means your desires, you have aligned with them. You're happy that your desires are now coming to fruition. And speaking too soon can drain that energy or invite doubt. I think this is something, guys, we need to be very keen. How you interact, how you analyze your thoughts, how you speak out something prematurely. And finally, I'll, I'll, I'll finish by this verse which says in the book of Proverbs 4 verse 23. The Bible says, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart. And in your heart is where you manufacture things. Remember, it is in your heart and in your mind. They are super connected. That is where all you manufacture, all things, and all issues of life, they are all from the heart. I feel good for you. I hate you. I love you. I do this. I want to help you. I feel good for you. I... All issues of life emanate from the heart. So protect your heart. Protect your heart. Because you don't want to produce something which is not worthwhile. So guard your joy. The joy that you have had. When you speak it out, you bring it out prematurely. Then somebody else might make turn it into sorrow. By suggesting something which is not basically... Not them. You see, people think it is someone who did this for me. No, it is you doing it to yourself. How? When you hear something which discourages you, which breaks you down, a type of suggestion, it drains the whole desire. And you start, and doubt is cast. And when you have doubts in your heart, then you can never have whatever you're looking for being manifested into reality. All right? So guard your joy, protect it from negativity by keeping it within until it manifests fully and that's wisdom so when you're happy be silent until everything is manifested